good day and welcome to class so this is the continuation of our full fan autogere here with me i have three pieces of actual ok joined together one two three i went ahead and joined it together and um, the measurement is um, 28 inches in length so i cut out 28 inches in three places and join it together so i have three lines of actual cake and this is what i'm going to be using to make my pleats so i'm about taking the pleats i fold it one inch inside then you place it on your lap now we are working with this finger and my thumb finger you are using this two index finger to push it from inside i hope you can see it like this then you use your thumb to arrange it Gradually, this is what I'll be doing till I exhaust the whole Ashoke fabric. So I'll make sure it's arranged well. And if you have a mannequin, you can as well pleat it on your mannequin if it's that works for you. But as for me, I usually use my lap or sometimes I use my mannequin. The two works for me. So it depends on your preference. The most important thing is for you to pick it. And I'll pick the next one again. I hope you can see. I'll keep on arranging it till I exhaust everything. So you keep pleating it till you exhaust it finish. So I'm going to go ahead and arrange it. So look at the pleats. This is the pleat. After I finish pleating it up, this is how it looks like. Can you see it? And this is how it's going to look like when you fix it on the base. And see the beauty is coming out gradually so the next step is we are going to fix this split on our base but before then there is something we need to do at this side 
we are going to push it up so that by the time we sew it on the base it will look like a tight gilly so what you are going to do is you shift to this side you hold it just the way i'm picking it just watch it then at the edge here can you see my thumb you use your thumb to push it up like this you will make sure that it's forming the curve part because it's going to form this curve part that is going to look like it's a tight gale. Then use your tongue to push it up just the way I did it. Can you see? So once you push it up, you use your needle and thread to hold this place. So I'm going to show you now how we are going to do that. So I'm going to push this side up with my thumb. I'll push it up with my thumb. Can you see the way I push it up? So at the point where I push it up, at this point where my thumb is, I'm going to use my needle and thread to secure that part. You can see the puff effect is still showing. You cut the excess thread. Can you see what I'm seeing? Can you see the curve part? So what I did to this place, I also do it to the other side. And I will be right back to show you the next step. So this is how it looks like. Can you see the curve part? That is the excess of pushing the pleat up so the next thing we are going to be doing is we are going to be attaching our pleat to the base so i'll be right back to show you how to attach your pleat to the base so it's time to fix the pleat on the base so before then we need to get the center of our base so we are going to fold it into two equal halves. So this is the center. You take note of that. 
So once you've located the center of your base, you also locate the center of your pleats by folding it, dividing it like this, just the way I did it. So you locate the center. Then you place it on your base. Then the next thing is you begin to sew it to the base. You pick up your needle and thread and you sew it. So I'm about um, attaching the plate to the base. Here is my needle and thread. Note, when you're attaching your plate to the base, the thread will be coming out from the pleat and not under the base so just carefully watch the way i'm going to fix it so i'm about to fix it now just take two pleats upward then you insert it then make sure that it's coming out from the base from the pleat of the base rather And you take it back and you make sure that it come out from this top part. You take it back to the pleat of the base. Make sure that when you are drawing it, it's not too, you don't draw it too strong. For yes, it's going to deform the pleat you have made. So gradually, that is what you'll be doing. You take it inside back again, just leave like a um, quarter of an inch space here. Then you insert it there. And make sure that it's coming out from the pleat of the base. So this is my this is the plate of my base. Can you see it? Then you keep on doing it. There is one thing I want you to take note of. When you are sewing it, please, your pleats, you must bring it forward a bit, like, let it be curved, not straight. I think let me bend it like this. This is what I'm saying. Can you see? When you are sewing it, you don't sew it straight. You make sure that it's curved. 
you make it curve towards the front part like this you bring your pit like this can you see you can see you bring it like this then you keep sewing not straight like this no it shouldn't be straight like this when you are sewing make sure that it has this curve shape so you bring it forward like this then you continue to sew i'm sure by the time i'm done sewing you will see what i'm saying so i'm done sewing this part can you see can you see the way i curve it you can see it's not straight so what i did to this side i will also do it to this i'm going to sew this place too then bring it to the front i'll make sure it's curved like this i hope you can see so i'll go ahead and do that off camera and when i'm done i'll show you how it looks like then we are going to now fix our full fan on it so this is the end result i fixed my pleat on the base so the next thing is to make um, the full fan so here with me i have my fabric of i have my fabric of 45 inches in length and i went ahead and sew the side so uh, approximately i have um 43 inches so when you are cutting your own, you cut out 45 inches and you sew in the two sides. So the next thing I'll be doing is I'm going to be making a pleat of my fan. Please carefully watch the way I'm going to make the pleat. So I'm about to make the pleat for my full fan. So this is the fabric. You are going to fold it from the edge here. You fold it like this, like a triangular form. Can you see it? Let me repeat that again. You pick the edge here, you fold it like this. Then you tack it down with your needle and thread. Then you keep on with the pleat in a slant form. Can you see it? Like this. Then you pleat it. Make sure that it is slant. Then you tack it down with your needle and trade Pick another one again, just the same way. So as you are picking it, you will see that it's forming a step at the back. So when it begins to form a step, that means you're on the right track. Then you needle it down with your needle and thread again.
So gradually, this is what you'll be doing till you exhaust it. Can you see my fan is forming? Can you see? This guy is going to be curving. Then you keep on using your needle and try to, to tack it. And that is what I'll be doing to like exhaust the whole um, 45 inches. can see the step So this is the fan. The next thing is we are going to be fixing it on our auto guinea. Welcome back. So I'm done with the fan. This is how it looks like. So it is time for me to fix it to the pleats of my um, auto guinea. So I'm going to pick it. I hope you can see it very well. So once I place it very well, then I will start sewing it. I'll just pick one to two pleats and insert my needle there
So you bring it back again. Then you start fitting it in such a way that the thread will not be showing at the back. So you just let it to be coming out from the um, fan. Pick two pleats, one, two. Then you put your needle inside it and bring it out from the fan air. And make sure you are arranging it as you are attaching it to your pleats. So gradually, this is what you'll be doing to you exhaust the old fan. You can see the way I'm arranging it. So arranging is key. If you want a perfect and neat job, you need to take time and arrange your work so that your client will be satisfied and will be willing to come back to you and also to refer. Can you see? You can see I just picked two pleats, one, two, and this is where it's coming out from. So this is what I'll be doing to like exhaust the whole fan.
I'm almost done with it. So I'm done. I'll just tie it up. Then the next thing is to fix the hand. So I'm going to tie it and cut out the excess thread. I'm about fixing the and just like the way I fix this I'm going to be fixing the other side like that so this is my pieces for the and the width is 6 inches and the length is 15 inches so carefully watch the way I'm going to fix it you pick it up like this the part you want to fix your and you pick it up then you make sure you fold the edge like this the edge of your hand you make sure it's folded like this then you place it like this I hope you can see it very well then we are going to use our needle and thread to tack it down make sure that you tack it very well so that when your client or probably yourself is pulling it it's not going to pull off please at this point kindly like my video please like my video you know as you like it people will be getting more views on it and also please try to share my video to your fashion colleagues out there it's so much important to me please thank you so let's proceed and also do not forget to subscribe if you are getting to this point and you are yet to subscribe please do well to subscribe thank you
there is no special way in attaching using your needle and thread just make sure that it is firm I'm done fixing it as you can see so you are going to flip it you're going to flip it to the front so this is it and the next thing you are going to do is you are going to take it to your sewing machine and um, sew it down so you fold you fold the edge you fold it inside Let it meet. You fold the two edge inside. Then you take it to your sewing machine and sew it straight down. You take it to your sewing machine and sew it straight down. So when I'm done, I'll be right back to show you the final results. So this is the final result. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video.